Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT Fabcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to enable password write back in Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory Connect tool. With Azure Active Directory self-service password reset, users can update their password or unlock their account using a web browser. In hybrid environment, where Azure Active Directory is connected to an on-premises Active Directory environment, this scenario can cause passwords to be different between the two directories. Password writeback can be used to synchronize password changes in Azure Active Directory back to your on-premises ADDS environment. Azure Active Directory Connect tool provides a secure mechanism to send these password changes back to an existing on-premises directly from Azure Active Directory. Password writeback feature ensures that when a password changes in Azure Active Directory, it is written back to the local Active Directory if they meet the on-premises Active Directory password policy. It all happens in real time and so users are notified immediately if their password could not be reset or changed for any reason. Before we are going to take a look at how to enable password writeback, first we need to look at the license requirements. Because to use this feature, you will need to have at least Azure AD Premium P1 license. Without Azure Premium P1 or P2 license, you can't use password writeback feature nor enable self-service password reset in Azure Active Directory. To correctly work with self-service password reset writeback, the account specified in Azure Active Directory Connect must have the appropriate permissions and options set. In our setup, we have used our domain admin's credential in Azure AD Connect, so we have required permissions. This is our domain controller named ws2k22-dc01.msfsurat.local. Our domain name is msfsurat.local. First step is to start Azure AD Connect Configuration Wizard. Let's click on Start button. Click on Azure AD Connect and again click on Azure AD Connect to start the wizard. You can also double click on the shortcut icon created on your desktop. On the welcome page, select Configure. Click on Customize Synchronization Options and then click Next. We will now need to log in to the Azure Active Directory. Use Azure Active Directory Global Administrator's account for this. Already our Global Administrator username is there, you just need to enter his password. Let me type the password and then click on Next. It will connect to Microsoft Online to verify the user credential. Since multi-factor authentication is already in place, it is asking me to re-enter the user password one more time. Let me enter the code which I have received on my mobile phone. 168880. Click on verify. Now, here we don't need to change anything. Already our domain is added there msfsurat.local. Click next. Now, let me expand. MSFSURA.local and already our OU is selected, which we have synced using Azure Active Directory Connect tool. So here we are not going to change any other existing settings, you just need to click Next. On the optional features page, select the box next to Password Writeback. If you want to know more about Password Writeback, you can click here and click on Learn More link to get more information about a Password Writeback. Here, okay, password right back. Fine. Uh, select next. Uh, click on next again. 
it is checking a uh, current setup uh, what are the components uh, already installed on this server on the ready to configure page select configure and wait for the process to finish we can see it is currently enabling password write back feature in our azure active directory As you can see, Azure AD Connect configuration is succeeded and the synchronization process has been initiated. Let me click on exit to close this wizard. With password write back enabled in Azure Active Directory Connect, now configure Azure Active Directory SAP service password reset for write back in Azure Active Directory. Go to Microsoft Edge web browser. Sign into the Azure portal using an account with global administrator permissions. You can access Azure AD portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. Under manage, click on password reset. We can confirm that the self service password reset is enabled for all users in our Azure Active Directory. Already I have created one dedicated video on how to enable SAP service password reset for specific user or group in Azure Active Directory. I'll provide the link in the description area so you can watch out that video as well. Now we need to click on on-premises integration. So under manage, click on on-premises integration. Azure Active Directory should automatically detect that you have enabled password write back in Azure Active Directory Connect. And on premises integration, it shows that your on premises write back client is up and running. Since we have enabled password write back using Azure Active Directory Connect tool, here you can confirm that checkbox is already selected. Write back passwords to your on premises directory. So if this checkbox is not selected, then you manually need to select this checkbox. But when you enable that feature using Azure Active Directory Connect tool, this checkbox will be selected automatically. Also, I want to select this checkbox, allow users to unlock accounts without resetting the password. When ready, click on save. We get the confirmation message. On premises password reset policy has been saved successfully. At this point, the password write back feature is now enabled in our Azure Active Directory. If user try to change his password or reset his password, the same password is going to be write back on our on premises Active Directory as well. So that concludes the video on how to enable Azure Active Directory SAP Service Password Reset Writeback feature in Azure Active Directory. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.